This is week five. Providing treatment and support for individuals who, are, who have substance abuse. There are a wide range of, of changes available. 40 to 50% of individuals who receive such treatment for a drug abuse happen within the first year. It's said that young adults, due to their sequential age, are limited to life experience and may require additional assistance to develop skills. They also tend to benefit from the additional supervision of, of counselors who provide the services. Individuals would co occurring diagnosis such as depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, eating disorders, ADD or ADHD, have multiple areas that need ongoing consideration. In the church setting, counselors may have to refer such people to outside counseling. Drug abuse for individuals with, with medical and le illegality difficulties associated with previous drug abuse are likely to need support for outside resources. Older adults benefit from having such counselors who can effectively coordinate their own and their overall medical and counseling care. The need for, for primary contact for such older adults is critical and may provide sequential part of treatment and ongoing communication is necessary. The goal of the engagement stage of substance abuse for church counselors to reduce internal and external barriers for treatment is also necessary. For many abusers, they, they might be providing a simple way of providing their immediate needs for building trust with the church counselor. Since many resources are, are drawn out or take certain types of procedures, there is a simple but yet more opportune way for church counselors to interact with their clients in a positive, supportive way. A good international, a good relationship between client and church counselor can be critical as the individual experiences difficulties and challenges in a later process of counseling. The focus of substance abuse counseling is to help individuals to access social services. Most cases, assessments will be identified as the needs of the individual's range of such services changes depending on family support or employment support. But ultimately, the goal of the substance abuse counselor is to help the client to obtain those services and function more adequately. A counselor should consider two types of skills, service pronouncement skills and employment or vocational skills. In developing substance abuse, church counselor strategies, church counselors use the process of connecting their client with the needed services as an opportunity for teaching individuals how to obtain similar services in the future. They can also integrate ongoing and long-term care as needed. Have you ever heard it said there are two sides of the coin? Well, this goes the same for emotions. We do not have to live with negative emotions because true feelings are based on the things around us. If we surround ourselves with negative people, we will become negative. It surround 
if surrounding ourselves with positive people, we will become positive. Negative emotions start when emotions are or have been traumatized by negative events in the past. Satan plagues our minds with negative thoughts, dragging us down that spiritual emotional roller coaster. Scott M. Peck said, quote, most of us do not fully see the truth that life is difficult. Indeed, a moon more or less incently, noisy or subtly about the abnormality of their problems, burdens and difficulties as life was generally easy as if life should be, end quote. Recovery takes fortitude and willingness to do what it takes to become a, per a person of purpose. Correct me if I'm wrong, but life does not always come late. A, base, a basic set of instruction. Positive thinking comes in a word from God, a kind gesture from a friend, or a song that touches the strings of your heart. When answers aren't enough, there is Jesus. I find it helpful to meditate on that fact that Jesus gave his life on the cross for me. It is helpful to know that Jesus wants to lighten our burdens. In Matthew 11, 20 through 30, it says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my look yoke and learn from me for I am gentle and humble of spirit and in me you will find rest for your your yoke is easy and your burden is light even in the moments of darkness and depression there there is that that need to to find pleasure and, and delight in, in the things that, that are positive Satan is always accusing us and he always bring up the past but there's a balance and a key to recovery for finding hope to grow making your life flexible can only nurture your growth and make you a better person psychiatry might argue against the role of the eternal spirit but rather they choose to deny it or believe it the evidence is all around us we must find support in renewing our spirit in the inner workings of Jesus Christ who gives us strength through the Holy Spirit. One, power of the Holy Spirit. As we accept, we have the power to become prayer, prayer warriors of authority. This gives us the ability to walk in the ways of God through the love of Jesus Christ. Two, the power of knowledge. That is the knowledge of God. We have the knowledge of God at our fingertips, and it is the Bible. Three, workable power. This is what is the ability to move forward and take the challenges that come our way. The Bible is a key, key tool to our pilgrimage toward recovery. The, the Bible is not only a sword or a tool, it is a main source of nourishment that we must use each and every day for our spiritual health and well-being. Sometimes we fail in our pilgrimage. Sometimes problems are hard to, to deal with. But we read in, in Zephan, Zephaniah 3, 9 when that it says, Then I will purify the lips of the people, that all of them may call on the name of the Lord and serve him shoulder to shoulder the simplest in the simplest terms the answer to this question could be the defining moment in our recovery zephaniah 317 the lord your god is with you he is mighty to save he will make great delight in you he will quiet you with his love and rejoice over you with singing if god the creator of heaven and earth and humanity lives on earth and delights in creation it and delights in our creation then 
it is a known fact that that flipping the coin and praying to God gives us that chance of purpose. A healthy amount in, of God's word leads to an rich state of mind and gives us energy and positive thoughts. There's also what is called the, the Via del Ro the Road of Sorrow. It, this is that time when, when we are put in, into trials, but it says, cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. In 1 Peter 5, 7. When, when we are weak, we must be reminded that, that the fragile imprisonment of our mind is not a way of cowering in self-doubt, but we must rise up. I was born with cerebral palsy. I have LDS, learning disabilities, and I have obstacles in my life. But the challenges of this pilgrimage toward recovery has helped me to become a fighter. Virtually everything we participate in teaches us to affirm that we must earn and we must learn and do and have. We live a sheltered and fearful life of what others think about us. If some of us live in a negative response to this question, then we must reevaluate ourselves. Do not let this uncircum way of, of living control us. We are children of God. So start acting like children of God daily. I walked my own Via Della Rosa during a part in my life, but I discovered that accepting Jesus Christ can give me solitude and be a, give me a renewed purpose for, for life and living. 